Did you know that only 16% of e-commerce sites provide what's considered to be a good product filtering experience? If you want to know how you can provide a great experience for your customers, then stay tuned. I'm Manuela with Politics, and our goal is to help small and medium-sized businesses sell better so you can compete with e-commerce giants. In this video, I'm going to explain why having product filters in your web store is important and which ones you should include to keep your customers happy and increase your conversion. Online shoppers interact with product filters to weed out irrelevant products and narrow down their search. If a buyer can't find the product that they're looking for, they're gonna become frustrated, leave your web store, and potentially go to your competitor. Data from Statista shows that 61% of shoppers say that finding products easily is the most important factor in their online shopping experience. Yet a Baymart Institute study found that 84% of e-commerce sites are providing a poor or mediocre product filtering experience. So adding easy and effective product filters to your web store isn't just a fruitless endeavor. In fact, it can increase conversions by 26%, it can improve user experience, it can increase product views and customer engagement, and it reduces friction. Have I convinced you yet? Now let's move on to the most used product filters, the ones that customers find essential when navigating through products. Price. This should come as no surprise, but price is a huge factor when making purchases. Having a price filter helps buyers easily identify the range of products that fits their budget, compare products at a similar price range, and identify if they're getting the best deal for the value. And this isn't limited to specific product type or industry. The Baymart study that I mentioned earlier found that 80% of shoppers applied price filters regardless of the type of product that they were looking at. There is no one way that fits all, and different companies like to showcase their price filters in different ways. For example, you can have multi-select price brackets, you can have adjustable price ranges, or you can sort by highest to lowest and vice versa. Color. Filtering products by color is a common thing for all shoppers. Imagine a customer is looking specifically for a blue shirt or a beige sofa, and when they get to your product listings, they don't spot the color that they want right away. What will follow is they'll look for a color filter to remove the unwanted colors from the products that are showing and only focus on the colors that they do want. When you don't have a color filter, you're making your customer work hard just to find a product that fits their taste or preference. And that's if they decide to stay on your web store and scroll through all your products. Now, when it comes to color filters, there's not much mystery to it. The most standard way to go about it is to let your customer select from a set of options like the filter shown here. Size. Whoever said that size doesn't matter was clearly not thinking about their customer. You can have the greatest product out there, but if it doesn't meet the size specifications that your customer is looking for, chances are they're not gonna buy it. Unless they're like me, who purchased a couch that was three centimeters, that's about an inch, too big for her living room and live to regret it. Anyway, worrying about size isn't limited to just clothing, shoes, and in my case, furniture. It's relevant when talking about electronics, tools, and the list goes on. Size filters are usually multi-select, but you can play around with the design like the ones shown here. Product type. It's best practice to let your buyers filter on product type. Whether you sell across many different categories, let's say clothing, accessories, and electronics, or you sell on only one category, let's say suitcases, it's still important to include a product type filter. Now you might be thinking, but Manuela, I only sell on one category. Do I really need to add product type filters? Let's look at the suitcase example. At first sight, it may seem very simple, but when you think about it, there are two-wheel suitcases, four-wheel suitcases, hard shell suitcases, fabric suitcases, smart suitcases, duffel bags, the list goes on. Providing product filters gives your customers more flexibility when searching through products. The most common way of letting users filter through product type is to include category hierarchies. The best filters let you choose from a broad category and then narrow down to more specific details, like how here we have material and style. User ratings and reviews. Apart from the ease of making a purchase from virtually anywhere, one of the many reasons that people enjoy shopping online is that they get to see what other people have to say about the products that they're interested in. According to Trustpilot, nine in 10 buyers search for product reviews before making a purchase. 79% of buyers trust the reviews they read as much as they would a personal recommendation. 
Remember, customers can't see, touch, or try on products in an online setting, so they rely on the product information that's offered. When you add the option to filter by reviews, you're giving consumers an extra layer of trust by saying, hey, you don't have to trust me, trust the other people who bought and tried this product. According to Overlo, adding reviews to product listings can increase conversions by 3.5 times and revenue per visitors by 4.5 times. So adding reviews as a searchable filter can only help you sell better. And allowing visitors to filter by reviews isn't limited to marketplaces like Amazon. Companies like Fabletics and Ikea also showcase this filter option. The most successful e-commerce businesses are using these filters in their web store. But I'd love to know what filters are you using in yours? Let me know in the comments below. For more tips like these, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can be the first to know when a new video is up. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Okay. Oh. Online shoppers interact with product filters. <laughs> what was I doing with my hands?